Hi there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMindBlocks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your stall chair uh, client from version 4, uh, point whichever version you have, 4.1, um, up to the current version, which is uh, version 5. So version 5, we'll take a quick look now. It's uh, a brand new interface and they've done a lot of uh, bug fixes. So here's a new interface now. You can see that it's kind of all on one uh, main page, whereas before it's kind of like a tabbed um, interface and you can see you've got your drives listed so I've got three drives here uh, this one is off for some reason let's see if we can just um, start that one on its own um, if you get this bug uh, close it and uh, restart it they, this is actually a current bug that they're kind of working on um, so don't worry about that too much just um, close it restart it, and that should uh, clear that up um, anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the uh, machine uh, directly next to me which is worker free and that's running the older version of storage um, so I'll just take you through the actual update process and how you can uh, import your configuration as well. So we'll jump over to that one. So we've got the uh, burst miner running in the background there. I'll just minimize that. And you can see we've got the, the old burst uh, version here. So I think this is 4.1, I believe it was. Um, yep, 4.11. So that's what most people will be uh, running if you've been following the updates. So if you go to help and you go to check for updates, You want to yes download it so it closes it first obviously okay so eventually Firefox will open and it will show you the actual github for storage so if you follow it down you'll see the downloads area and we want to download the one for 64-bit windows or the one that's most appropriate for your um, operating system and just save that Okay, so that's downloaded now. Uh, we can just run it from the downloads folder. Close Firefox. So it's still share version 5, and we want to go and install it. Okay, so the storage setup has to now completed. We can uh, click on close, and it should actually open the uh, application automatically. Okay, we've got some uh, terms and conditions, we accept those. Okay, so on this part here, you've got a start setup. So if you're a brand new user, uh, not used stored share before, don't have any previous installation, click on start setup. If you're upgrading, you wanna click on I'm an experienced uh, user and skip the setup. So that's what we're gonna do. Then from here, we wanna click on import config. And what we need to do from here is actually find our original uh, config settings. So if you go to uh, this PC, and it will be your, your main drive, normally your C drive. Then you want to go to users, uh, whatever the name of your computer is, or your username. Then you want to go to um, application data. This folder might be a hidden folder, so you might need to just show hidden folders to find it. Application data, roaming, and then in here you should find installed share and then you want this settings.json file you want to open that uh, it will just say it's in legacy format you want to migrate it and you want to click OK okay so you can see that it's imported both of our drive uh, details there so we've got actually two drives on this system and they're both, uh, from here onwards, they will start connecting to uh, peers connections on the network and it will show you how much uh, space is currently shared. Um, obviously, you've got your uptime, which will increase um, over time. So that's it from that point. You can basically uh, minimize it and just leave the actual stored share application uh, running. So that's the whole upgrade process. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.